Market fans, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Gintare here with another um, Bloom Alert video. Um, so this giant is my Psychopsis Mariposa Free Lips. And um, look at the size of that flower. It is just an absolute giant. Um, you can see it's starting to get um, to go over. The edges are now browning up and drying up. So. I don't think this flower will, will stay here for long, but I've got another flower just behind it. Um, so here is the other flower. It's quite difficult to actually, um, you know, separate them out because they're so close together. I didn't actually expect um, this flower to open before the old one closed, uh, sorry, dropped. So let me try and and put my hand behind this flower so we can see it. So here we are. So it's really, really pretty. I'm trying to film, you know, against the white door rather than yellow wall so that you can see this yellow um, flower. Um, but yeah, this, this flower is a lot more open than, um, than the first one, but it is smaller as well. So you can see it's got three lips, one there, one here, and then the one at the bottom. Um, so, um, but yeah, look how pretty it is. Um, but yeah, the flower that is going over this one there, look, you can already see how much bigger it is, even though it's all kind of closed up. Um, but um, yeah, it was a lot bigger. So, um, so these, um, it took forever for the spike to develop. I got this plant, I think around January time um, of this year, 2021. And um, it had a tiny kind of spike starting at the at the base. So I think it was about maybe that high. And um, it's now end of May, um, but I had this first flower open for a couple of weeks at least, if maybe not even three weeks. And um, as this bud was developing, I could see the bud behind it already growing as well. And um, the second flower developed a lot quicker than the first one, I think. Um, and we can also see that there is a bud right here in the middle. Um, so see that there? So that's another bud now developing again. Um, but that one is gonna take forever. So, um, but if this if this flower stays open for three four weeks, then it will give that bud a bit of time to develop. And um, it also grew this second spike um, from the new growth. And um, yeah, you can see that I think it's already now developing a bud as well. I thought it might take a bit longer for this one to. Uh, you know, I thought the spike will grow a lot more before it pushes a bud out because this spike is a lot longer, as you can see. Um, it's a lot longer, but it actually starts from the base of the pseudobulb, whereas this spike starts from the top, from the apex of the leaves. So um, that's why I thought this would actually get taller um, than the first one before it pushes the bud out. Um, but no, it looks like it's actually going to give us flowers sooner. So um, that's exciting. So um, yeah, if it can actually have two blooms at the same time on one spike, um, I might actually have four flowers um, at a time. So that's pretty exciting. Um, so um, yeah, this is a sequential bloomer, which means, you know, it just keeps pushing the buds out of the same spike and, and the spike can stay active for quite a long time, you know, for years. So um, that, that will be quite interesting to follow um, how many flowers it kind of pushes out of one spike and how long it stays in bloom. Um, but I mean, these flowers are just stunning. I absolutely love them. Um, the plant itself is, um, it's not that big. It might look bigger on video um, than it actually is. But um, it's potted in an 11 centimeter pot. So, um, you know, it's not, not big at all. And you can see basically half of the pot is pretty much full of roots, but there is no growth um, on the surface. And um, 
So this is a new growth that it came with. Let me try and lower, lower you down. And um, there is a new growth on the side, right there, developing. So this new growth, um, it started developing at the same time as, as the spike from that apex of the leaves. And at the beginning, it was quite difficult to see which is which and what they're gonna develop into. But um, yeah, that one is coming up to be a growth. Um, it is still quite small. Even this growth here, it doesn't seem to have, um, you know, matured properly. It is still a fairly small pseudobulb and the leaves are completely kind of closed off. They're not, they're not looking to open up and the leaves are pretty small as well. You know, compared to, for example, this growth, look at that leaf. Um, and it's also got a cut um, end, but this one is a lot bigger, for example, than, than this one here. So it might actually still develop, I don't know. But um, yeah, this is another growth which has got this huge spike, um, which is fully developed and blooming. So yeah, really excited to also see, you know, what this new growth will do once it develops. Is it also gonna push another spike out? Um, so um, the plant itself is not big at all, but because, the long, because of the long spikes, it actually does take quite a lot of room. Um, so it's maybe something to bear in mind. I mean, I'm keeping it on quite a low shelf and these, um, these spikes are actually arching into the next shelf above and the blooms are actually showing on the next shelf rather than on the same one. So, um, but that's okay. They seem to have enough room to bloom and, um, you know, to have their blooms open in there. So, so that's great. Um, and yeah, that's that's it for today. That's all I wanted to show you, this beautiful flower. And um, I'll keep um, some more notes in the description on when the flowers open and how long it takes them to develop. Um, so hopefully that's useful information. And um, yeah, if you've got this plant, let me know. Um, it's, it's quite an interesting plant. I mean, this is a peloric version of it, but I think there are quite a lot of Psychopsis mariposas out there, you know, in different variations. So, um, yeah, let me know if you've got this plant and how it's growing for you. And uh, that's it for today, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!